we'd like to find the value of n that makes this a true proportion, so let's begin by setting cross products equal, and since the rest of these values that are known are mixed numbers, let's go ahead and at the same time write these mixed numbers as improper fractions. So here I have n times three and a half, but what is three and a half as an improper fraction? Two times three is six plus one is seven, so that's seven over two. And what is this cross product? It's two and five eighths, but what is it as a mixed number? What is it as an improper fraction? Eight times two is 16 plus five, that's 21 over eight times this mixed number, which we'll now write as an improper fraction. Six times one is six, plus one is seven, so seven, six. Now let's set these cross products equal. So that's n times seven halves is equal to 21 eighths times seven, six. And how do we multiply fractions? It's numerator times numerator over denominator times denominator. So that's n times seven halves is equal to, now I want you to notice that 21 and six have a common factor of three. So take a moment, divide that out. And then once you multiply these fractions, you will have 49 over 16, once you've simplified. Now I have that n times 7 halves is equal to 49 divided by 16, so n itself is equal to 49 over 16 divided by whatever this number that's multiplied by n is, which in this case is 7 halves, so divided by 7 halves. And so we have that n is equal to 49 over 16 times two sevens, and I'll let you uh, simplify and multiply, and if you do, you'll have the result of seven eighths. So the result is seven eighths. That means our unknown number is seven eighths. You can check by letting n be seven eighths. Check and make sure your cross products are then equal. They will be.